So, there is a number of reasons why I would like to join the graduate program. First of all, it is the spice heart letting see itself. It's an, it's an industry leader. Um, it is um, quite a large company, employing more than 2,000 people across UK, uh, across England and Wales. And um, it also boasts uh, more than 60 million pounds in terms of revenue. And it is one of the, it is basically the largest residential lettings company in Europe. So um, the positions of the, the position of the company in, in the industry uh, makes it really an admirable and attractive employer. Um, second, the graduate program by Spice Heart Lettings is um, really comprehensive. It is um, I regard it as a two-way process. The, the the graduate puts a lot of effort. Um, both um, in the branch and also in the during the training sessions that take place each month, a couple of them take take place each month in Sutton. Uh, you put a lot of effort, but also you receive a lot of support and you gain a lot of knowledge from your mentors and managers. So basically, it's a quite a demanding program, but you also but you also get a lot of rewards and um, um, you basically. And get feedback um, like on a regular basis, which is quite rewarding. So it, it's all it's clearly a two-way process. Um, the graduates have to be really driven, motivated. They have to put a lot of effort. They have to be really communicative. Um, they have to build um, really strong relationships both with their uh, fellow teammates, um, with their colleagues, but also with with the clients that are they're gonna serve. Um, on the other hand, the fact that you can you can get a sort of a promotion, you can step forward every three months, is is an amazing opportunity because you see that uh, you get a feedback every three like every couple of months, and you also see that you can be rewarded for what you've put in um, during the graduate program. The fact that you have the opportunity to to develop yourself really quickly and to to become even an assistant. Branch manager is assistant manager is amazing. Um, that that is just another example and another fact that uh, testifies how actually rewarding and competitive the graduate program is. So basically, putting a lot of effort uh, doesn't remain unrewarded, and you can very quickly actually uh, witness that the company. Um, is looking after its graduate employees. Um, so um, basically, I also like the industry that Spice Art Lettings is taking part of a part in. Um, that is um, quite a client-oriented industry where you have to meet client expectations, surpass their expectations, meet their needs. You have to approach your clients differently since they all come from different backgrounds corporate clients, private clients with different needs, um, different experiences, so they, they, would, they would love different kind of service from, uh, from Spice Heart uh, employees. Uh, my background, my experience so far um, is, um, is quite strong in terms of uh, client, um, client relationships. Um, I've taken part in various internships and I've um, I've served and I've tried to meet client needs in most of them. So basically, my my experience also makes me feel that I'm gonna be uh, quite confident and quite um, um, quite a valuable asset to the company once I possibly uh, join the graduate program. Um, an example of how I influenced people. Um, I have taken part in many teams, um, both in my internships and work experiences at university, um, as well as in other extracurricular activities such as sports teams and societies. Um, but I will present an example um, my own experience with the Durham University volleyball team. Volleyball is not uh, the, like the most admired and the most popular sport among uh, British students. So 
when I joined the team in my first year in Durham, I witnessed that people in the team are not putting a lot of effort in it. Uh, they not put a lot of effort in practices. They don't enjoy the competitive games even that much. Uh, simply because it's like volleyball is not considered as like a popular thing and not really manly as well. We also get a lot of um, people, people for example from other sports, basketball and cricket, them sometimes mock us uh, for being part of the volleyball team. So, um, but by the end of the first team I was selected as a vice captain for my fellow teammates, which was um, uh, a proof that I've got their um, confidence and trust in myself that I can lead the team. Um, and in the second, in the second year, the beginning of the second year was terrible. We were losing our games. Um, the team spirit was quite low. The moral was low as well. So, um, in the second term, uh, when the when the season continued, I decided really to take advantage of my position as a vice captain and motivate the team a lot. Um, before the first practice, I gathered the team and I. I basically had a really short speech in order to motivate them. I outlined several aspects of the game that have to be uh, really um, highlighted, and people uh, have to take have to pay attention to these um, aspects. First of all, volleyball is a game where psychology and mentality play a vital role. Uh, they're quite significant, and um, basically. Keeping the moral high during the game is vital and it's integral to to basically the eventual win. Um, you have to be you have to cheer after each point. It doesn't matter whether you win it or lose it. This way you don't also keep the moral high, the, your team's moral high, but you also show the other team that it's going to be really hard to break you and to beat you. So. Um, in terms of psychology, I told my teammates that they have to pay much more attention to that. Uh, sometimes it's not technical skills, but rather um, mental skills that change the games. Um, I also try to, to outline really important characteristics of the game, um, that it is very, very important to, to stay, um, like to ignore other people opinions and uh, for example uh, when you mo when they mock you and also f the behavior of the other team of the opponents basically you have to be really focused in your own game uh, in your own emotions you have to keep the team the team spirit high and you have to to be motivated and be focused in the game um, so I really actually try to change their approach and their attitude to the to the to the team to this team game and I guess that had a really, really positive um, impact on the team. We won uh, most of our games in the second, in the second part of the season. We also reached the semi-finals of the Northern Cup, uh, which is a competition where each university from the Northern Conference in England takes part in. And uh, basically, that was an amazing achievement, um, a precedent never happened before. So um, from this experience and from, from my experience with the volleyball team, I learned that um, being a psychologist and motivating your team, teammates is quite, quite important. Changing their attitude and approach in order to boost the, the team spirit and consequently to improve the results is quite important. Um, and uh, whenever the team is going is lagging behind and um, is losing its positions. You have to take really radical actions, but actions that are um, that can that you can approach each player, each team team player, each teammate of yours. So yeah, um, team um, teams are basically um, quite dependent on the overall moral of the team. An interesting fact about myself that not many people know, maybe no one knows, is that I love to sing. I, I'm a massive uh, music fan. I, I sing a lot out under the shower, and I, I also have, I also tend to fall in love with a sp specific song, and to listen it all the time. And basically, I have a, a favorite song in more or less each week. So in my, for example, in iTunes, I have a playlist of my week songs. And um, 
that is my favorite playlist because it um, it involves all the all my most favorite songs and so um, yeah basically it just uh, shows that music is basically my way of um, having rest um, my way of uh, um, I don't know like um, losing stress and uh, getting rid of all the daily uh, burdens that I have in my mind and um, basically I'm I'm having physical rest and mental rest um, um, so yeah um, having this week songs is basically an interesting fact about myself thanks for listening <laughs>